Hi, Lola, the OS viewers. You all are welcome back to Lady OS Home of News. My people, I thank every one of you for watching my video, for sharing my video. My people, I bring this update. Come, make we listen to this update. Make we like the video, share the video, put your comment for the comment section. If you never subscribe for this, my channel, do me a favor and subscribe and press the bell so that if I did drop out, you'll be the first person to. Uh, no, I'm not Igbo. I am Delta Igbo. What a brain damaged, very, very brain damaged comment. I am not Igbo, but I am Delta Igbo. Now, I keep on asking them, the people that sold that Delta state to you, will they treat you different from Igbos? Before the creation of Delta, what we are you? We have uh, Bendel. Before the creation of Bendel, we have mid, uh, I think Midwest before the creation. I have forgotten, if I'm not mistaken. But before all of those creation, what we are you? You are Igbo. And they created Delta after the war. They gave you Delta states. Will they treat you different? They will always come and tell you, oh, you are not Igbo. Now, let me shock you people to what happened in that community. They said the Nigerian, let me look into the this thing because it's here. I posted it here from according to the newspaper view of what happened in that community. Update from Oklahoma Community House burnt after the killing of soldiers. According to an, uh, another version of the story, soldiers of the uh, soldiers, when you hear soldiers, it is terrorists. Terrorists of the Nigerian army visited Akoma and Uhobo River Line community in Ueli South, local government of Delta State, requesting to see the community shrine and their chief priest. And two people, an advanced man and a boy of 15 years, approached them to ask what could be the issue. The village has been reportedly having communal issues with Okoloba and a job community in Bomade local government. This is a perverted story according to the perverted story. The news got to the community and there was rage everywhere. The youth organized. So when the, when the young man, when the elderly man and the young boy of 15 years approached the soldiers, what they did was to tie them Instantly, they cock and pie them. Now, reply, can this happen? A community chief priest and a 15-year-old boy, a teenager, pied instantly. We are as the Boko Haram in the north, where you have Boko Haram. The youth there are fighting with the soldiers and they cannot do anything. You see, Soldiers slapping, you see youth slapping soldiers and soldiers trying to rescue. They were not shooting the youth. They were dragging even the able which the soldier had. And you see the soldiers begging the youth. In the north, oh, cool down. But in the, in the east, especially when you are Igbo, especially to those that they have so that mentality that you are not Igbo, like the Sabinus and the rest of them, I remember there was a time issue came out that Sabinus denied being Igbo, that he's an equity, very useless individual, very, very useless. And ever since then, I lost the love that I have in that young fool. You know me, I'm realistic on this very platform. I lost the love that I have on that young fool because he's of divisive tendency. Now, what happened in Delta? In Delta states, if it were to be in the north, we are the military shoot a community a chief priest as it was reported here. Will they? It will not, and it will never happen. So when they sow that seed of this conf uh, uh, that seed to you that you are not an Igbo. What they want to is to divide you small, small, and take you small, small. Because when they are taking these people, you will be laughing at these people. When they are taking these people, you will be laughing at these people. And slowly, 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 you will disappear. 
before the creation of any, any nonsense that they not created in Aligo and divide you. But up now to there, they, they, there are different languages. They are not one. Not in the north, you have more divided people, but they, they, they brought them and made them to be one up there. But on the ground, they are not one every time fighting. They are not one on the ground, but they made them to be one up there. Oh, we are a one, but they are not. What do you have in case of uh, these fools that represent you? As Ohane, Zendara, and Doshin, the DOS fools are Helen today. As the Nikon Poops governor, when you identify with them, you are going to wear pampas the next day. What do you have? A very, very disturbing. Now, let me shock you. Do you know that uh, Ikwere people, barely you see an Ikwere man, in the in the in the nonsense that they called on Hanes and Daran and Doshi. Barely you see somebody from Delta State in the nonsense that they call on Hanes and Daran and Doshi. Barely you see an Igbo man from Benue. Igbo, you don't know. In that nonsense that they called on Hanes and Daran and Doshi. Barely you see an Igbo man from Abo. Go to Abo. What are they bearing there? They bear Chiamachuku, Kachiemeka, Ikenna, and the rest of them. But they tell them that they are not Igbo. Barely you see an Igbo man from there identifying with the nonsense that they called uh, they called Ohanese and Daran and Doshi. So the idea, the whole idea of setting up that Ohanese and Daran and Doshi is divisive tendency and cannot stand. Let me return to the program that brought me here. If that were to happen in the north. Uh, chief uh, priest appeared since you are looking for me. L look at me and they buy the person instantly. Will that happen in the north? Will that happen? Now, I continue to tell you people because those of you who have the one Nigerian instinct if you are an Igbo man, you are a fool and you are a fool with no apology. You are a fool and even the family that you come from, you come from the lineage of fools. With no apology. If it gets angry to you, know that your foolishness is getting angrier to us. I want to shock all of you. There is an Igbo man, when they we are breaking uh, Igbo people's head in Lagos and said that you cannot vote. Those of you who believe in one Nigeria, we are the ones that push that Igbo man to defend you and said, how can Oluomo say that we are going to buy Igbo? How can these people say that we are going to buy Igbo? What have we done? We have invested too much. We have not looked for problem. We said that we are going to vote and they want to buy us. Do you know that even Pitobi and the rest of them have abandoned that man? And that man was defending the vote of the same Pitobi. All of you who have the idea of one Nigeria, you're a fool. Let us go and vote every four, four years. You're a fool with no apology. If you get angry, know that the more your foolishness is growing, that the more you get us angrier. Because those of them used to used to capitalize on, oh, every time you insult, you insult, you insult, and your dealings is bringing pain on weak to us, and you are afraid of insult, and you come from the lineage of Ndiberibe, with no apology to you or whatsoever. You come from the lineage of Ndiberibe. Do you know that barely nine months after the election, the nonsense election or selection or what uh, that rubbish is meant. That Igbo man is still languishing in prison. They are trying him for treason because he's an Igbo man. He's an Igbo man. The same thing is applicable to all of you. There is Igbos in Benue. There is Igbos in, what are they calling them? In all of these uh, places that they said, oh, it belongs to, uh, like the people in the Benue. They said uh, uh, they belong to Arewa, right? They belong to Arewa because when they say middle belt, I have not seen that uh, seriousness of the nonsense called middle belt. You are not a middle belt. Will they treat you uh, different from the Igbos? 
Will they treat you as a middle belt and as you claim that nonsense that you claim that you are? Will they treat you? Nonsense. You are not. And stop confusing thunder. There is evil people in in in, in uh, Edo states. Do you doubt? There is evil people in Edo states. There is evil people in Edo. But once you ask that Igbo man from Edo, are you Igbo? They will say, no, I come from Edo. Edo. But when issue happen, what is your name again? Let us look at the name. Oh, his name is Chukwu Emeka. His name is Raf uh, Chika. His name is this. Will they treat you this, uh, different? Or will, they, uh, will you reject your ancestral name? A coward, just as you are. Your forefathers was a coward. You denying the Igbo, Igbo, Igbo lining. Your forefathers was a coward. And you want to be a coward. You want cowardness to reign in your own lineage. What a deranged fool that you are. With no apology to you or whatsoever. No apology. No apology to you. You will wake if you get angry into this program that I'm doing. Know that your stupidity have gotten us more angry. In a country where they divide, the, it is only the evil man that is being divided. Treated like an ordinary rag. Imagine a traditional ruler. Imagine a traditional ruler being stripped, flogged, imprisoned. Where you have towels like Tunumbu where you have touts like Oluomo, Tunumbu is a drug baron, a drug pusher. But in that contraption called Nigeria, that Tunumbu is reigning today, they advertise evil people as the main drug pushers. Or haven't you seen? Have you not seen the trend of the day? On Twitter, Edgy they will tweet, oh, he's an evil man, a letter. This is how they make their money. But the president of Nigeria is a drug pusher. Abakiari that was caught pushing drug, pushing drug, so to say, as they made you to believe. But Abakiari was an international criminal, an internet fraudster. But the reason why they put that drug effect in is because without that crime that they allege, they, they will extradite him to United States. But they put that drug, a heavy distance, to tell you that, oh, it's ha he already have a heavy case in Nigeria. So there will be no need to extradite him to United States. He will face the case here, a heavy case. They played on some of your intelligence. Will, if if, if Abakiari were to be an Igbo man, will that arrangement be? They will extradite him to United States to face his consequences. But why Abakiari was in in, in where they kept him, because Abakiari was, was never in prison. In that place that they kept him, Abakiari was not dismissed from police. Abakiari was still receiving salary and still control police. His own division. I mean, uh, there is uh, his own command, I would so to speak. His own command. If Abakiari were to be an Igbo man, he will be painted, oh, internet froster, a notorious, uh, a popular, uh, a popular Igbo, because they will not tag Nigeria. A popular Igbo police, now indicted in internet fraud. It will be circulated in every newspaper in Africa, in every print, news print media. It will be in, in CNN, it will be in Al Jazeera. They will paint you black and blue. And so, these foolish people that you see as Ohane Zendara and Doshi, even the people that the criminals in DOS are bowing today, they will not see anything wrong about that. You know why? Money. Money is the root of all evil. Money have covered their face, so they are behaving sheepishly, and they are behaving like morons. They are behaving like morons. My name is Emane Oremiju Smao, known as the Gracia or the Sea of the Sea. The message that I pass here is undiluted truths. Undiluted truths. So the community in Delta states that they invaded, 
we are, I had, it was, a, they had a clash with some, a jaw this thing. But the community that they invaded, prior to this invasion, if you ask them, are you an Igbo? You will look at a full-fledged Igbo man. Somebody that called himself a professor. Somebody that knew that Atuzie Colonel Atuzie came from the same Delta State. Somebody that knew that the coop with the tag as Igbo coop was an, somebody from that state that they will say, oh, I'm not Igbo. By the way, the coop that they tagged as Igbo coop, the officers in that coop we are, if I'm not mistaken, 21. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, correct me. 21, only seven, we are from Igbo, but they target Igbo coup to see the hatred. Only seven, only seven. You have uh, officers, you have uh, officers from the north, you have officers from the west, but they still target Igbo coup. That is the hatred. But this useless uh, morons that you have as Ohanese and Daran and Doshi, the fools that you have as a governor, the nonsense that you have, even Soludo, the useless Soludo, they cannot see it. Before Soludo become governor of, of Anambra State, he was seen clearly mentioning these loopholes. But immediately he became governor, he was blinded. That is the reason why I tell you people, there is no good man vying for the seat of that contraption called Nigeria, you're a fool. I am a man of remedies. If my insult gets angry to you this morning, go and check your life. If you are among those that my insult is getting to this morning, check your life and view your life vice versa. I am a man of remedies. The message that I preach here is undiluted truth. Undiluted truth. Undiluted truth and I come. Now, after creating that nonsense, after creating that nonsense as five Igbo states, what they did now is encroaching, encroaching, and encroaching. They divided Igbos again in this modern day to, to Benue. Keep on div uh, dividing to Benue in a boy state. They divide uh, uh, to Benue because they know their plans in Benue. They know that their foot soldiers are having upper hand, encroaching, taking Benue's communities, sacking people, buying people in a day that they can buy 500, 1,000. The other time, the biggest one was over 1,000 plus buyed on a single day. There was no outrage. There was no outrage because it was not. Uh, an Igbo man. No outrage on one more in this con uh, contraption called Nigeria. Nobody is brought to book. No flight is searching for those people that did that thing up to today. You know what? Because your leaders are fools. You have fools as leaders. You have, uh, you have uh, slaves as leaders. And to make it worse, those who lie to you that they are pursuing freedom. The, the, the useless uh, DOS, DOS, the lying machine. Give them another upper hand for them to be banana each and a mother boy in Abuja. Look at Benjamin relocating to Abuja. Now we each and a mother boy. Your people are in for a very big shock. I will continue to preach this undiluted truth. Please hit the like button and share the program across every other platform. Very, very important that this message gets to our people. Very, very important. Very, very important. The uselessness in claiming that you are not Igbo when you know that you are Igbo. When you know that you are Igbo, what runs in your vein is Igbo. Up to uh, Edo, Edo, I don't mean the, the whole of Edo, because uh, uh, Odudu was have their footholds there. Odudu was have their footholds there. And they are invaders anyway. They are invaders in that Edo. But that is not the problem. That is not my preaching today. The Edo people are, are calm with it. They shout all about up there to invaders with that nonsense history that they gave to them. 
they give to them that uh, the, their chief priest uh, said that somebody is going to come from the bush. There is nobody found worthy among that community to lead. It is somebody who comes from the bush from Yoruba. Now, eh, some history or you have professors called you slap hell out of that person because that person is not reasoning fine. There, there are some certain things that they will tell you. You slap hell out of that person because that person is not reasoning very fine.